Hello everybody, it's Tortoise Investing coming at you today with another five dividend stonks you can buy and hold forever. If you are new, very quickly go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the 363 that have already done so. Make sure you hit that like button as well and comment down below. I like to hear from you. I respond to every comment. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Today we're going to be taking a look at Caterpillar, Procter & Gamble, Abvi, Williams-Sonoma, and the TJX company. If you just came for those, there you go. Some great dividend stonks for you. Now let's go ahead and do a quick deep dive into these. So the free cash flow yield is at 5.81% here for old Caterpillar. They have a dividend yield of 2.19% and a payout ratio of 26.61%. Take a look at the revenue here. Over the last five years, I've got an average of 55 but they have been increasing their rate of growth over the last two years at 19.31%. Look at that. That is, that is what you like to see right there. Um, same thing with their EBITDA. EBITDA is doing the same thing. It is marching right along with their revenue. And as they are doing that, their free cash flow is increasing over the last two years at a rate of over 10.7%. So you really, really like to see that. Uh, the EPS is following right along with it. Uh, they do carry some debt at $25.6 billion, but their EBITDA is $12.34 billion. So their, uh, their debt is not more than three times their EBITDA, so that falls right in that zone of things I like. Uh, the dividend yield over the last five years has been increasing at a rate of 9%, as you can see here. Um, a nice little nice little stair step going on here. They got a little, little pauses here and there, but... Uh, Overall, pretty consistent growth out of Caterpillar. Um, they're doing share buybacks, or they were doing them pretty heavily. It looks like they've kind of stopped that. Um, return on capital employed is increasing. So, yeah, a lot of good things ticking in the right direction with this company. A very good industrial stonk in my eyes next up procter and gamble we all know procter and gamble you know procter and gamble they get a free cash flow yield of 3.56 percent they have a dividend yield of 2.59 percent and a payout ratio of 63.64 percent so it's under the 65 percent range where i'm just like whoa what are you doing it's a little bit too much so take a look at the revenue here over the last two years been increasing at 6.31 percent <clears throat> and the free cash flow also, they've they've got plenty of cash on hand. That's the thing I like about this company is they they are pretty cash cash rich. Uh, over the last five years, seven point six nine percent. Their EPS is growing as well. I like to see that that EPS growth is good. Growing EPS is a growing company. So if you take a look here, their debt is at twenty two billion. EBITDA is twenty one billion. So it's right there in line. No problem. Debt is not an issue whatsoever with this company. Over the last five years, been increasing their dividend at a rate of 5.59%. A very reliable grower. I'm pretty sure they've been growing their dividend for over 60 years. Uh, they have been doing share buybacks here of late, which you like to see. And the return on capital employed is growing now above 20%. So another strong dividend company in my eyes. One that I love, we got Avi here. I've uh, got a free cash flow yield of 9.76%. The adjusted free cash flow yield that thing that you see here is really what I should be telling you. But free cash flow yield adjusted, 9.48%. Take a quick look at these real quick. Yeah. Bam, there you go. For adjusted free cash flow yields what we want us to be saying. Sorry. Uh, they got a dividend yield of 4.13%. The payout ratio is wrong. It is not 136%. I think it's more in line around 40, 50. Um, their revenue has been increasing over the last five years very rapidly at a rate of 15.52%. The free cash flow has been following right in line over the last five years, 20%. Plus free cash flow growth. Love to see that. The EPS is growing as well. They do have some debt at 59 billion. Their EBITDA is right there at 19.66 billion. So that is still within the three times range. The thing that I really like here though, their 
cash is growing, but they are paying off their debt in, in a big way. It has dropped from $77.5 billion to $59 billion over since 2020. So they are knocking at that debt in hard. Over the last five years, dividends have been growing at a rate of 9.04%. And their uh, return on capital employed is growing. So when it comes to health care, I like Avi. Avi's down a good bit from its highs. If you take a look here, it was around the 165 mark at one point. It touched right in the 160s again. And it is just on a bit of a drop right now. All of these, honestly, uh, are on a bit of a drop. Let's go ahead and take a look at Procter & Gamble. Here recently in the mid-150s, 156. At, yep, 156. Now down to 145. And Caterpillar is another one that is on. So I'm all over the place, guys. It's late. I've had a long week. I apologize. Uh, 264 was their recent high and down to 211 with Caterpillar. But, yeah, I, the stocks I'm trying to show you are ones that are growing, got good free cash flow, a good dividend, growth history, and they're on sale in my eyes. I feel like they are. Uh, next up, we've got William Sonoma, just a free cash flow yield of 10.60%, another heavy cash flow rich company. They got a dividend yield of 3.17% and a payout ratio of 21.36%. Take a look at the revenue. Revenue has been growing at a rate of 10.39% over the last five years. Very nice. And that free cash flow yield over the last five years have been increasing at a rate of 1765 they did spend a good chunk of it, it looks like, here in 2023. <clears throat> Might have been for debt or buybacks. No, it's buybacks. It's buybacks. It's definitely buybacks, which is a good thing. EPS is growing. Again, a growing EPS is a growing company. Uh, they don't have any debt, which you love to see. That is, ugh. When you see a zero in that, mm. just like T. Rowe Price, the other one I know that's like that. Their dividends been increasing at a rate of 15.92% over the last five years. That type of growth with that type of yield, delicious. Absolutely amazing. So as I said, they have been buying back shares and very furiously. Uh, they decreased their share count from 76 million to 69 million. So they bought back a ton of their shares, and that return on capital employed is just through the roof, above, right at 50%. So William Sonoma, a very strong company in my eyes. Let's take a look here at the one year chart. Uh, last year it was around 168. It had a recent spike here in February at 143. And it's just working its way down. So possibly a good entry point for it if you like what you see with Williams Sonoma. Next up, we got TJ Ick Company. This company I like a lot. They are very reliable in my eyes. Uh, they were hovering around the low 80s and they're down to 77. Not really too big of a sell, but it's a very strong company. They got a free cash flow yield of 4.32%, a dividend yield of 1.73%, and a payout ratio of 37.5%. Take a look at the revenue of our last five years. Been growing at a rate of 6.84%, the slow and steady climb. And they had some free cash flow here over the last five years, increasing at a rate of 5.95%. They have a very small amount of debt. They have more cash on hand than debt, which is, again, it, you love to see it. It's almost as good as having no debt is having more cash than debt when it comes to companies. It's just such a rare thing to see. Um, their dividend has been increasing at a rate of 11.3% over the last five years, so a good compounder. And they were doing a little bit of share buybacks here and there, but not as of late. And the return on capital employee, they had a 2021 hiccup, but it is right back in the high, uh, mid to high 20s range. So another really strong dividend company in my eyes. All of these are great compounders. Uh, the one that I personally like the most, I like Avi and I like William Sonoma. I just feel like Avi is a great healthcare company overall, and their free cash flow is growing at a crazy, crazy rate. And William Sonoma has a beautiful dividend yield, 
a great payout ratio and the ability to grow it at 15% and have a 3% yield. Too good. Too good. But yeah, that's everything I got for you. I hope you enjoy that. And stay tuned for more to come on Wednesdays and Fridays. Thanks for watching. See you.